bug looks good. I love CDC. Hey guys, Steve with Black Fly. Hope everybody's doing well. Tonight we're just going to whip up a little jig streamer. Um, in the vise, I've got a fully male FM5130 barbless. Bead, uh, 3 8 slotted tungsten thread, 72 denier, rust brown, good color. Get our thread ready and build up just a little down just to kind of hold that bead in place. Not a big one. And I like to trim my thread about right there so that way. I can cover that cut. Advanced thread back to about the hook point. We're going to take some pheasant tail fibers. So I'm going to take about six or seven of these fibers. We'll just tear, tear those off. So I want the tail about to stick out about half the length of the hook shank so you know I'll line it up like this and then just but whatever you guys want to do this is just how I tie this fly and I'm just gonna hold those fibers on top flying back not all the way to back I want I want that tail kind of bushy well, that's good I'm gonna go ahead and cut it so that way it's behind the bead and just finish tying that in, and then we'll bring our thread back. About right there. Okay, so next I've got some uh, black ultrawire UTC in the brassy, and I don't like to waste material. So if, the way I measure my wire, if I'm depending on how thick the body is going to be, is I know I need about three links, like three links of the hook length. So one, that'd be two, approximately three. That's so that I can hold on to it without using hackle pliers. Cheapo junk pliers and just cut that wire off. And I'm gonna just insert that wire into the top of that bead. And go ahead and wrap it forward and then wrap it back. And build just a little bit of a taper up. Let that hang. Next, guys, we're going to take some of this rusty, rust colored. These are. I'm going to dub the body. And we're just going to spin up couple dubbing noodles as I advance forward I'm gonna stop and leave some space just behind the eye uh, hang this on the cradle and we're going to take our wire and I'm going to counter wrap this using the rotary on the vise Oops, sorry guys, my fingers were in the way. So just, that creates a nice segmented body. Get the cradle all the way. And back tie our wire off, a couple ties in front. Uh, spin it off, helicopter it, whatever you want to call it. And we didn't make, waste much wire. Okay, so next, guys, we've got some ginger CDC. One of my favorite and a lot of fly tires' favorite uh, hackle materials. And we're going to take, I got two feathers. I'm going to hold the tips of these feathers. Make sure I'm in frame. I'm, I'm going to take, take and preen the fob. Oh, wait a second. I will shangle that out. Okay, let's do that again. So I line up the stems. I'll grab the tips 
And gently, I'm going to pull these fibers down. And I'm going to reline up the stems. Then I'm going to take my little clamp here and I'm going to pinch as many of those long fibers as I can, like so. Hopefully you guys can see that just now. So then I grab my long loom, fine point scissors, and I'm going to trim one side of this, just like so. And this is a, these long scissors are nice for when you're using a full length CDC. So then it should look something like that. Okay, so next we're just gonna create a dubbing uh, loop. So I got my finger and I'm going to wrap around and I'm gonna go around It's hard to work it from my camera. Go, I'm gonna wrap around it to, and then give it another wrap. Hang that over the cradle. Move that. We're gonna take our, this is a dubbing spinner, a loop spinner, loom. And so you just hook the loop through like that. Here, let me zoom out. And so, should look something like that if you guys can see that. Zoom back in for you. And so then we're just going to take our CDC feathers and we're just going to insert the clamp. And then we're going to take our finger out and we're going to pull. So it's like that, I'm just keeping tension on it. Now, here, let me zoom out again. I'll show you what I'm doing here. Okay, so next, put my finger here, and then I'm just gonna spin, spin this. Just trap all those. If you push your finger up, it'll spin a little more. So we've got a nice CDC hackle loop. And I'm just going to wrap this. I'm gonna use the tool and just, as I wrap the CDC, I'm going to bring these fibers back just a little bit. It's not too important. I, I think the bugginess doesn't hurt anything. Apologize for the background noise. So we're just going to take our thread and then we are going to capture that. Give it a couple wraps. And then go in front of it to lock it in. So then you're just going to lock that in. Take and once that's locked, all locked in, we're gonna trim that. Be careful not to trim your bottom thread. Okay, next, guys, we are gonna take some mylar angel hair dubbing. We're gonna use this fluorescent orange. Before we dub it, I like to put just a little bit of wax. Wopsy premium dubbing wax on that thread. It just helps the mylar stick a little better. And I'm just gonna grab. Not a ton, but about, well, let me show you guys, about that much. And we're gonna create a little dubbing noodle, try not to get that CDC in there. That dubbing wax just really helps this mylar adhere to the thread. Now I'm just gonna moisten my fingers a little bit and I'm going to bring those fibers back give this just a couple wraps that's that's good break off the rest of this 
grab our little whip finish tool and to whip finish what you want to do is so you hook your thread like this go up and around and create the number four if you guys can pull that down just a little tighter so if you guys can see that it's like the sideways it's like a number four laying on its back for beginners because this is a beginner and we're just going to give this a five turn web finish five turns cinch our thread cut our thread here's but i'm just using my fine point scissors here to get some of these stragglers out of the way so next we're just going to take some loom uv resin we're just going to put a drop take our uv flashlight uv light and we are going to hit that and cure it and last i'm just going to take and push the cdc back and make sure it's not i don't want the cdc to protrude past the tail so i'll just go in here and just pick some of these fiber longer fibers off watch this okay so this is why I use, I like to use a little hot spot. Flies floating down the river. Oh, sun pops out. Boom. See that collar light up? So it's going to attract those trout. Okay, now time for the water test. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, well, before the water test, look at this mess, guys. This is my tying desk. My trash, my flat tying materials are in all these drawers. Got more over there and some stuff up there. Any suggestions from you guys on organizing? I'd like a place to put my thread right in front of me, in front of my vice. Um, but any suggestions on how I could organize this better? I'd appreciate if you guys would comment. Um, some fly tying desk options, ideas. I also will need to get a pad. I need a nice tying pad. I've been using these felt pads forever. But anyways, yeah, comment down below like what you guys recommend i do for organization tied the fly on my wire here because it's from vice right into my wife's china okay here goes the underwater test watch how the cdc Let's see what it looks like with the UV light on the underwater. Okay, there's no UV. Yeah, buggy buggy. And then we're going to bring it up to the UV light. Look at that. Pretty cool. Man, that bug looks good. I love CDC. Anyways, this is Steve coming from the tying desk, the messy tying desk. This is what I'm saying. I need to stop talking. I've taken up way too much of you guys' time. This is Steve from Black Fly signing out. I will see you guys on the next episode. Take care, guys.